Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Riseite Studios. Visit us on the web at riseite.com, R-Y-S-I-G-H-T.com, and it'd be great if you can go to Facebook and like us. Today we're talking about a new program called Adobe Muse. That's a program to create websites without knowing any HTML coding at all. Now I'm going to run through what we're going to talk about today. Um, as you can see, we have a list of things here. So I do this in a little bit less than 10 minutes. Um, currently, Adobe Muse is at 3.0 beta, so hopefully it's going to come out soon. They say early January. What I'm going to go through is um, the intro, mapping a site, how to put together a site when you want things, um, how to import art into Adobe Muse, uh, how to make a menu so you can pick things uh, where you're going to go on the website, creating a Photoshop button and importing it, how to make a link so you can click to other places outside of the website or in the website. What pinning is, that's when you put something in a spot on the website and it doesn't move. How to create a background image. Um, how to export and test your website in the end. So, going right into it, so I'm going to try to keep this up and highlight it as we go through each one. What Adobe Muse was, at one point, was a web development, um, well, the guys from InDesign came over and they built this because they did a great job in InDesign. And if you remember Adobe's Go Live, it was terrible. So they did this. Now, the great thing about Adobe Muse is that you don't actually need to do any coding. You can just actually um, drag and drop stuff and create boxes and type in text just like you would use in InDesign. So it's great. And when they come out with this in the real version, the 1.0 version in early 2012, it's going to be $180 per year. Um, and that means that you won't actually be able to own the software, you're just going to be subscribed to it, which is fine because instead of paying 1800 for two years worth of one program, instead of updating a little cheaper. So we downloaded Adobe Muse, how we do that? Go to Adobe. Um, go to muse.adobe.com and just click on Get Muse, and BAM will be right out. Once you have it downloaded, it's going to open up and it'll say like this. Now you can see, you're going to see it says create new, click on site. Keep these as defaults unless you're going to change them, columns or whatnot. Don't keep them defaults. Okay. The first thing you can see is how to map the site, the map of the site. It starts with one page as the home and one master. Like in Adobe Illustrator, or excuse me, InDesign, whatever you put on the master, which I'm going to put a box up here, um, will be on everything that's assigned the master. I'm going to make this a red, uh, I'm going to make this a, a gray box. Um, no, maybe I'll make it yellow, a little more obvious. And it's changed my mind the third time, red it is. And um, you can see when I go back to plan that whatever the master is going to have that red box on it now. Of course, you can do all the things with logos and other art. Now we're going to create two other pages. One's going to be the info page and the other one's going to be a contact. Now, of course, we're going to want to import a little bit of art. So, now we're at importing art. Well, let's go back to the master, because I'm going to put a logo here. Now, how do you import file, place, just like in design. Find something like a logo or whatever you want to use. Uh, I have a logo sitting somewhere convenient. i got to find it. And here it is. And I'm going to place that up top. Um, we're just going to kind of shimmy that right into there, bring this down a little bit. So there's our logo, and you can even move things back and forth. All right, that's fine for now. So now you can see that's imported. Now if I want to go back and edit that, I can even select it, go over here to Assets, right-click on that, go to Edit Original, and this will actually open up in the program that was made. And I can even change it here. Let's say I wanted to do a color fill. I'm going to come out. So I'm going to make that white. So that's that. And I would save it. And I go back to Adobe Muse. There it's changed. Isn't that nice? All right. That's how you import art. Moving past that, we're going to do a menu. Now, Adobe Muse has things that are objects called modules or widgets. And these are our pre made things. So one of them is a menu. So I click on Insert Menu. I go to horizontal, so I'm going to make it a long one here, and I click that. Here's the menu. I'm just going to put that right there for now. You can see it already has the names inside that are appropriate to the names of the files here. 
If I added a third page and called it portfolio, and we go back to the master page, you can see it even added that. Isn't that nice? You can do more creative things in there as well, like adding art. What's a Photoshop button? Well, let's say we want to add a button onto our website, and then later on maybe link it. Again, file, place, we already learned how to do this. And we're going to the, oops, file, place. Oh, excuse me, my mistake. It's actually file, place Photoshop button. If you don't do that, it's just going to give you the actual um, file and not actually give you this options here. Now, we'll say the normal state, we're going to keep it as shape one. And in the rollover state, we're going to make it shape uh, two copy, excuse me. And the down state copy and the active state one. So these are, each one's a little different. This one's actually a little glow. Let's we'll see when I hit OK. Now I'm going to put this right on top of the, no, it still gave me that. I'm going to delete that. So here's this file. And, um, we're just going to sit this maybe right here. Now, you can't tell unless I go into preview, but you can see when I mouse over it, you see the second state has a little glow on it. I, I did the glow in Photoshop. And that's how that works. Now, let's say I want to make this particular butt, this particular image, I'm going to make this smaller actually. I'm just going to grab in the corner, I'm going to drag it, and I'm going to put it right here. Let's say I want to make this particular image a uh, link, or this, excuse me, this button link to another website. Go up to hyperlink here, just type in a website, yahoo.com, or anything you want, or anywhere you want it to go. And now it's going to link. So if I go back to preview, you see the little finger button there? I click on that, it actually takes me to Yahoo. Isn't that nice? Go back to design. And that's how to make a link. Pinning. Pinning is a great thing. You want to have something stay in the website and not move. So we're going to make a quick Facebook icon. And I'm going to make it um, just a blue and type, um, put a little F, and make it bigger. Um, as you can see, you can just select it, and you can make text like bigger. And it doesn't go with the um, the real web stuff. It actually uses the same ideas that you see in um, InDesign. So, see, it's really quite simple. All right, so this now is a button, or, well, it's not yet, it's just art. And uh, I can even object group this do it together. Now, if I was to um, go back into preview and we made this website smaller, and you can see I scroll, the F moves with everything. I want it to just never move. I want it to stay right there. So if I have a very long page, I never lose that F. Let's go back to design. It's very easy. You just select it. You see it says pin. You pin it to where you appropriate um, for this particular um, placement. Now watch this. It doesn't move. Isn't that nice? And that can be a button too, just like we did before. Alright, going below this, we're going to do a background image now. And this one's quite easy. Um, first, we'll go back to design. And you see it says, uh, let's click on the background, makes it a little faster. Uh, background fill, it's right in this ugly gray. Um, we're going to make it an image. So, click an image. And um, we're going to go find a quick image to use for it. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, I have something in here I can use. And this would be just fine. And then this is just going to be, uh, takes a second to load, and there's a the background image. It's actually a real image. And if I wanted to get rid of that white background, that's quite easy too. Just go to fill on a page and make it zero. So there's our there's a real page with real colors and everything. So you can even see what it looks like in preview mode. There it is. You got that black box, so I can even get rid of that too. And go back in here. Um, export and testing. All right. So in real quick, I'm going to actually put in some actual um, content now. Since our template's done, we're actually going to go back into our um, plan. And we're going to go to each individual piece here. So we'll go to the home page. And um, let's just put in some dummy text and a quick image. So um, and we're just going to paste that into there. That should do it. 
and now I'm going to place a quick image. Um, let's see. This should do. And um, she's quite large. She's quite small, but the image is quite large. You can even holding down Option, even resize these things. Now the great thing about Adobe Muse is that even though you um, are resizing this, you know the original size is one size, it actually um, will create a better quality, perfectly aesthetic version. Okay, so that's our home page for now. Um, and uh, maybe it's best if I were to write the word home. Uh, here we go. And we're over 10 minutes, but uh, we'll keep it under under 15. And home. Okay. So then that's our home page. Now, of course, we go over here. We can see that that's the home page. Now, one quick thing I recommend doing is if you just actually select things where you want them and hit copy paste and then you um, excuse me excuse me not copy paste um, edit copy and then you go into your next page you want to kind of be laid in the same spot you just go to edit paste in place so I'll just put it in the same spot and if I change this to home or info and uh, just change this image watch how fast this is I can actually click on that hit the um, page get and just grab another image and I'll land right where I want it. Uh, just click on that. You can see that this is uh, it's a little bit more tricky. Yeah. But if you know InDesign, you'll be able to pick this up much faster. And uh, that's the info. Okay, and that's that. And we have our website, we have this. We're gonna leave these empty for now. You can see where we have two pages. Let's export this, how do we do that? Um, quite easy actually. There's two ways to do it. You get an options. First you have publish a button here. And this is a program called um, it's a web online thing called Business Catalyst and it's very simple. You update some, you upload this up to Business Catalyst and you can edit and change things there. It's pretty advanced and it's tied in perfectly with Muse. However it's using Adobe so you're only stuck with them. If you have your own hosting which I do, you what you have to do is go file export as HTML and then you save your files onto you know your desktop or whatever and then you can even view your site and here it is got a couple little errors but I can fix those later uh, you can see it links and it goes through and it's quite simple so that's how creating a simple website using the new program Adobe News hopefully we come out with our new version sooner than later and uh, we can actually have a nice new product out there to create websites without having to um, deal with developers. Yeah, they're nice guys. They just sometimes, <laughs> sometimes don't talk the same language. Thanks again for watching.